Uh, hello, good people. Hello, Gemini, and welcome back to my channel. I am Madam Sierra, and I am here to do the energy reading for 2022 for the sign Gemini. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump in. Hello, Gemini. And uh, let's see, when I flipped the cup over, the water kind of swayed. So it gave me this rhythm that you may be in coming into the year 2022, a nice swaying rhythm that, that maybe you haven't been in lately. So it's kind of like getting yourself back into the swing of things, the swing of things in life, the swing of things in, in work, in school, in family, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it was far away from the garbage. Or are we going to call that the bullshit? Because that is what this exactly is. And it was far away from it. And it looks like the bullshit is watching you sway back and forth and getting into your rhythm and getting into your groove of things. You know, so all that things that you've left behind in 2021 won't, will may, may be watching in 2022, but you won't be so concerned with it as you have been in the past okay which is a good thing which is a really good thing and the first thing when i look into this cup which catches my eye is this is this beautiful lovely right here she is a a, a ball of energy and and she has this sass about her she reminds me of this spirit um this loa um oh my gosh don't don't butcher the name balion is Zili Balion, who is who has very um, belly dance energy. She is free flowing. Um, she knows herself. She's connected to the divine, feminine, heavenly, and and she's not afraid to express herself. And this is a, a freedom of expression. So in twenty twenty two, you will start to express yourself freely more and more. And get into a rhythm of who you are and who you want to be. And you will wake up and you will embrace that person each and every day. You know, now there, you don't have to masculine and feminine energy reside in everybody. So if you have been living more into your masculine energy, this is time for you now to embrace the feminine more, you know, and, and maybe bring a balance to that in your life. And I feel like this is, this is going to be, be that year where you do bring a balance in your life. And it looks like there's a lot of positive things happening up here. Um, the flamenco is right here. And the first thing that comes to my mind is love, which that card is right in front of the flamenco. So that's very interesting. So the flamenco is love. And I think they made for life. I think, I think so. Don't quote me. I am not a zoologist. So I will have to look that up in my in my book and, and, and give you a proper definition of that. But um, but it looks like it, it's coming into to season with somebody because there's a message of it coming in right there with that little birdie there. It looks like they're kind of kissing them two, the flamenco and this little other little birdie there. And they're right above the flaming lady. So it, it's kind of like we're bringing it full circle around in life. Oh, and look, there's a little angel. There's a lot of spirit guided spirit guidance in this cup because there's an angel blowing the horn. And there was somebody else had a cup who had an angel blowing a horn in it, too. And then there's other like spirit, spirit angels or spirit guides around there as they watch her as she dances. And it's, it's almost as if they're like egging it on, you know, so they're um, guiding this change, this metamorphosis, um, so that you can be free, you know, so spirit has your back, whatever, whatever trials and tribulations that you have been, you got to know that spirit has your back. You, it's not as bad as you think it is, you know, and the cards that I pulled were, was one, which is a new beginning. And the Oracle of Delphi, which is like ancient Greece or something like that, where she was like people from all over the walks came to see her because she was uh, gave prophecies of the future and she had visions and stuff like that. So look her up if you don't know about her, her whole story and stuff like that. Look her up. But if you it's you tapping more into your your gifts, your third eye and, and opening up your sight 
in order to see what's coming in. And maybe people will come to you for for advice, for work, for anything like that. I would advise you not to keep yourself in a barrier. Don't limit yourself to what you can do because this card says you can do any and everything that you put your mind to. Do not limit yourself in anything, in love, in finances. and But with this barrier card, it's like you're putting up those walls. Don't put up those walls. It's time to break, break, break that box. Break that box because it's new beginnings is coming. And if you've been seeking justice for something, it's coming too. That is coming. The justice is here. It's coming. And you won't have to worry about it anymore. And once you allow yourself to release the bullshit, then you will feel so much free and you'll be able to embrace her because she wants to be free. She lives in you. She, he, however you, that feminine energy lives in you and wants to be loose and wants to help you to reconnect with who you are. Okay, Gemini, I hope that this helps. Hope you have a wonderful year. I will see you on the other side. Blessings.